Video number 24 Assessing studies based on multiple regression assessing internal and external validity of, uh, of an econometric model chapter 9 Stock and Watson so so far we have discussed linear regression models multiple linear regression models nonlinear regression functions chapter 4 to chapter 8 along with stata and it was all non-technical introduction without having a compromise on econometric concepts so today we are going to discuss another very important concept and uh, which is uh, which is not discussed very much in our econometric models that the model you have whether its results are valid for the population being studied or whether its results can also be inferred for some other 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 uh, other populations as well for example if you have a microfinancing in bangladesh and you are trying to measure its impact on people's lives can those results be inferred for india northern uh, india pakistan or not that's external validity but if those results from the population from which the sample is taken and you those results are valid for Bangladesh or for some uh, particular area of Bangladesh then we will say that those results are internally valid and if they are not for India and Pakistan it means they are not externally valid so there are some threats why why we don't have internal validity of a model what are basically issues with those that we'll discuss in detail Similarly, if you are growing tomato in tunnel forming in controlled environment, whether those to, uh, th th that yield will also be the same when you grow those tomatoes outside field, outside that tunnel. We are trying to uh, have vaccination for COVID-19. We are trying, if for example, we are trying experiments on animals, will those results be the same when we we'll do that for human beings? So those will be externally valid. If those are only valid for the population from which the sample is taken, then that's called internal validity. But that internal validity is not simple to achieve. So uh, uh, California data, so class size reduction leads to improvement in test score. In my last video, we have done it with the uh, with Stata. So whether those results are valid for Massachusetts, whether those results are valid for some other country as well if they are valid then we say that there is external validity and if those results are only valid for California from which the data have been taken then that's internal validity but internal validity has also issues why external validity is an issue because there are different institutional settings there are different rules there are different settings there are different uh, there are different factors which play a role so we must have uh, uh, we must uh, uh, be careful whether those results can be applied to some other population as well so what are the main threats to internal validity of a model that's main topic omitted variable bias I have discussed time and again if uh, wrong functional form errors in variable bias sample selection bias simultaneous causality bias so these are five threats the first one I have discussed in chapter 6 <coughs> sorry that if y, a variable is determinant of y and is correlated with x and you don't include it it will lead to omitted variable bias uh, was, so if you have data it's okay include it if you don't have data then it's the issue that whether you use panel data or instrumental variable or run a randomized controlled trials these will be our next topics why we move to uh, from uh, this uh, uh, multiple linear regression and nonlinear regression functions to these topics because we suffer from these these threats or uh, <coughs> next wrong functional form if you have used nonlinear regression function uh, 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 linear regression instead of nonlinear so you'll have uh, uh, you will have wrong results so you have to you have to use a correct functional form errors in variable bias so far we are assuming that there are no errors in variables but we all know that all observed data all our macroeconomic variables microeconomic variables are not free of errors 
so we have to be careful about this what to do for example if we get x not x we get x tilde we get x tilde then that that means we instead of x we are observing this one so this whole will be in this xi minus x tilde will be with ui so xi tilde and this will be correlated this will lead to uh, omitted variable bias beta 1 watch those uh, previous videos you will get the concept clearly so it means oh, th there is biasness how to overcome this bias you can have better data easy said than done develop a good uh, 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 develop a specific model of the measurement error process or you can use instrumental variable regression sample selection bias that's where i'm going to focus more and on the next point sample selection bias is that when you have a sample but that's not a representative we are going to take two uh, examples one is mutual fund other one is earning function for example we pick uh, mutual funds which are managed by fund managers and uh, we have a data of ten, for 10 years those which survived for last 10 years and then we t want to see that where the returns uh, by uh, uh, the, uh, returns are uh, 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 ret how returns are linked with the, um, um, uh, managed funds so you see after 10 years you are picking only those which survived you are you are suffering from survival bias because those funds which were managed but they failed after four years five years three years seven years eight years they are not included where they are they are in ui fund managed funds and the failed funds both the, the, those will be here so this this will be correlated so what what's the possible what's the possible solution pick all those funds which were available at 2010 and then 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 keep that data and then see that funds managed whether their returns are higher than those which are not uh, managed by experts similarly other one is earning you regress earning on years of education but in earning who are included who are employed what about those who are unemployed so you are suffering from sample selection bias you have already picked those who are, are earning so what's what's the solution pick a sample of graduates not only employed so in graduates you have employed as well as unemployed in mutual fund case instead of picking sample of it uh, at end of the 10 years pick at the beginning of the period included fail funds last internal uh, uh, threat uh, uh, last threat to internal validity of a model is simultaneous causality bias one of the fundamental concept of any economic issue or social science issue because we are interested why does it work not what does work so class size uh, 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 affect test score for example if districts having poor test scores more teachers were hired because test scores were poor that will lead to low student teacher ratio it means poor test score is leading to low student teacher ratio not low student teacher ratio is causing test score so this is simultaneous causality bias foreign direct investment and economic growth export led growth growth led export all these are simultaneous uh, suffer from simultaneous causality biases <coughs> what are the solutions the uh, regression discontinuity designs uh, difference in difference estimators uh, instrumental variables we will we'll keep on discussing these things uh, in our coming videos and uh, this is what i have been talking about so <coughs> potential solutions you can have randomized control trials for which you need a lot of money when you do it in social sciences Banerjee and duflo people are doing it uh, and they won Nobel Prize uh, on these type of contributions. So, uh, the, uh, uh, this this type of experiments cannot, uh, these randomized control uh, trials are not possible at macro level because we have one central bank. Whether that central bank uh, increases interest rate or not. So, we cannot say that we have 15 central banks and we say seven don't seven uh, do so uh, the, the, we, we can't do that 
we can't do that so <coughs> uh, no in our next uh, in our next videos uh, we'll try to study panel data instrumental variable difference in difference estimators to resolve these problems so at the moment if your objective is forecasting r square is really good if your objective is uh, simultaneous causality or a causality then then r square and all these things are not of much use so we will we'll discuss all these things uh, in detail uh, the, uh, how to deal with these five threats to internal validity of a model omitted variable bias a wrong functional form, errors in variables, sample selection bias, simultaneous causality bias in our coming, uh, coming videos. Thank you for watching. Take care.